the 21 day self love challenge. That's the topic we're going to talk about here today on Self Love Monday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. Now, this is actually episode number three of three. And what we're doing is we're actually going through the book by Ingrid, I-N-G-R-I-D, Lindbergh, L-I-N-D-B-R-G. And it's called The 21 Day uh, Self-Love Challenge. Now, what I've decided to do, today's uh, segment is going to be days 15 to 21. But what I've decided to do is, since going through this particular uh, series is I'm going to write a book. <laughs> and it's going to be on the self-love and the same ideal concept of the 21 days. The reason for that is I like the ideal that she's put in place. Uh, but there are some things that I think that you can add in to actually enhance this journey. And there's some things that, you know, which you'll see um, later down the line, like day 2019, 18. Uh, she talks about journaling. And you guys know that's something I told you to do from the beginning. And so that's why I said, so I'm going to take the concept, add some things that I think will actually enhance this particular journey and uh, put that in place because um, I just believe there's also some fine tuning. We always want to improve and that includes me. We're always looking to, uh, for where we can better and I just think there's some things that can actually enhance this actual um, journey of the 20, of the self-love. So anyway, let's get into uh, the day 15. But first off, hopefully everybody has been doing the uh, every night before going to bed, having that conversation with the person in the mirror and basically doing the, uh, there's three basically statements that you make and then they have seven endings. Uh, the first one was, uh, I am proud that you, and then you put seven different endings. And I'm proud that you continued this journey. I'm proud that you're actually uh, fulfilling your promise to yourself to do whatever it is. But that's the statement is, I am proud that you, and you put seven different endings. The second statement is, I forgive you for. Um, whatever it is that has happened in your past, it's time to let it go. Whether it's relationships, whether it's some things that has happened to you, um, maybe you feel guilty for some things that have happened to you and you feel like it's your fault. Um, you got to be able to forgive yourself for it to be able to move on. Um, I, I was having this conversation with someone just the other day and they were telling me about the things that happened to them when they were younger. And it's like, but you're a kid and you putting all this pressure on yourself that you couldn't do anything. You were a kid. And you got to be able to forgive yourself for that and not put this on why wasn't I, as a kid, those are different situations that you're put in that you don't have the power to, um, to do and you have to fight through those. And then as an adult, you can't let those things continue to tear you down or stop you from moving forward. And again, as we always talk about, we're our biggest critic. And this is a part of that, learning how to forgive yourself for things that have happened or even things that you may be done that you feel like you regret that you did them. But you got to be able to forgive yourself so that you can move forward. And then that third one is, um, I commit to you that and whatever it is that you've committed to yourself. And let's make that happen. So those are the three with seven different endings or it could be seven of the same if you get stuck because the idea behind this is not for you to get stuck on any particular statement but if you can have seven different endings good if it's the same one seven different times you'll just basically imp imp implant it uh, a lot deeper by keep saying the same thing and make it become a reality so that make sure you're doing every single we said for the 21 day i actually got that from lisa nichols she calls it the 30 days is, is the challenge part of that for you to do that for 30 days. We said it for the 21 because it's a 21 day challenge. Um, you could do it for the rest of your life, um, but definitely do it for the 21 days. Make sure if you haven't been doing the exercise, do it now. And if you're, and if you're just getting to this particular video, which is episode three of the third one, go back and see the other two and uh, follow all the days and get all the days in. But anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to day number, I mean, uh, what you should be doing on day number 15. Day number 15 is don't be so hard on yourself. So you should spend that day really critiquing the things that are coming into your mind and forgive you, which we talked about, forgive yourself and quit being so hard on yourself. Um, we're harder on ourselves than we are on anyone else. If we treated other people 
the way we treat ourselves, they wouldn't be our friends. They wouldn't deal with us. They would, they would, you know what I'm saying? They would cut all ties. Yet we do that to ourselves. We treat, which is unfortunate people even do that in relationships. You'll treat other people well and mistreat your partner. And that's the person who deserves the best from you. If you're going to mistreat anybody, which you shouldn't, but if you're going to mistreat someone, it's better that you would do it with a stranger versus the people that you got to live with and it's a crucial part of your life. And in this particular instance, that person is you. You got to be able to quit being so hard on yourself because society tries to tell us about these standards that they've set up. As you guys know, I've talked about this before. Vishan from Mind Valley talk, calls them rules because he calls them BS rules which is basically saying the things that have been put here before you and I were born and we're supposed to live according to these rules that society has created. And that's why he's calling them rules. They're BS rules. And I agree with that. We got to get better at making our own, you know, I mean, you do want to have standards and you want to have high standards, but make sure that the standards that you set, not the ones that the world sets. So quit being so hard on yourself because you don't live up to the things that the world is telling you and designing for yourself and then make sure you live according to your standards. Day number 16, we're going to talk about uh, give yourself the gift of meditation. Now, again, and see, that's why I said for me, and that's why, again, I'm going to do the book because, see, to me, this is way up at the beginning that we should, not necessarily saying you have to do meditation, but you guys know I talk about getting out and walking, um, you know, spending that time where you should spend at least an hour a day to yourself and maybe do a lot of that walking, jogging, sometimes just sleep, sometimes just relax, sometimes just sit back and do nothing. As uh, <laughs> as I've said before, one guy said uh, his schedule is, is so organized that he planned procrastination. So he put procrastination in his schedule where whatever time he put it, if he says for three to four, I'm going to procrastinate, anything that comes up, he, he says, I ain't going to do it. I'm putting it off. I'm not doing anything between three to four. That's my procrastination. Now, hopefully that's not how you have to live your life, but it's an idea if you understand kind of where he's getting to. And that's take that hour a day to yourself. And again, those of you who I know, you know, with kids, a lot of times you say, but it's hard to find that hour. Do four or 15 minutes. But I understand once you do that, you'll start, you'll get that two half an hours and then you'll get it. You'll get that hour because one thing for sure, whatever it is we want to do, we'll make sure it happens. And so make sure you in the meditation. What they're talking about here is just taking that time for you. Meditate, do yoga. I mean, whatever it is. But most importantly, give yourself, as we talked about before, quit being so hard on yourself, which was day 15. This is kind of the same thing. Give your give yourself a chance to relax and enjoy this journey we call life. And then uh, day 17, it says, uh, stop taking everything so damn seriously. <laughs> There's a book I read a long time ago and I recommend. It's called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. And it's all small stuff. That's actually the whole title. And it's because when you think about it, majority of the things that we uh, worry about, I forgot what the numbers were. I think it was like 80 to 90% of the things you worry about never come to, to, to pass. So if you think about that, it means 80 to 90% of the time that you worry, you wasted a bunch of time. It's a saying, uh, what is it said? Uh, a person of courage dies once and a coward dies many deaths, something like that. So basically what it's saying is, you sit here and you torture yourself over and over and over. That's why a coward goes through it over and over and over, which you guys know I don't use, I don't call people cowards. I don't put labels on people, but it's just for this illustration. So what they're saying is that instead of going through all this and keep dying and keep dying and keep dying, live your life with courage. And that way, when the time comes, you only do it once. And that's the same thing. Uh, I used to tell my wife that all the time. I said, she'd be like, you're not even worried? No. I will worry when it occurs. In the meantime, I got too many things on my plate that we need to get done. I don't have time to worry about the things that might happen. I'll deal with that when it comes. 
And I know for those of you, especially stability minded person, which she was, um, they're thinking you can't live your life. Of course you can. I do understand there's certain things that you need to make sure that you plan out and, um, and think from a stability minded person that you don't just go out and just, you know, just live your life uh, with reckless abandon. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is the things that we worry about, majority of the things, if you ask yourself real quick, what's the worst thing that can happen? And can I live if it does? And once you say yes, because I know that's going to be the answer, once you can live past it, you can move on. And we'll deal with it if, it if it ever happens. Because the key is we're getting ready to become courageous. And the things that could happen, if they do happen, we'll deal with them. And if they don't, we've continued to live our life with courage and enjoying the journey. Um, the key is let's not quit stressing ourselves over things that we have no control over. And that's kind of what I'm getting to. You have no control over it. Why are you sitting here worried about it? That's kind of how I live. If I can do something about it, I do it. If I can't, I move on. I can't worry about that again, the what if. Okay, what if it doesn't happen? Because that's kind of how I am. If you say, well, what if this happens? But what if it doesn't? So I'm going to spend my whole life preparing. It's kind of when, you know, when people talk about, well, you got to have a plan B. Folks, if you spend time working on plan B, that's time you're taking away from plan A. How can plan A ever succeed if you're spending so much time on the backup plan? You got to put your time, effort, and energy into the A plan and go for it. People go, but what if it doesn't? We'll deal with that later and we'll just rearrange it. We're not going to give up on the plan A. We just may have to come a different direction to get there. So we'll readjust accordingly. But, and that's kind of what I'm getting to there. So, but anyway, day 18, like we talked about when I first started here, journaling. Well, if you guys are doing what I what I was saying, journaling, you should have started that day one. And the main reason for that is because I wanted you to see where you were, where you are now, so that you could see the changes. Because we live with ourselves every single day, so we don't see the change. A lot of times, unfortunately, our partners don't see the same. Your friends and all them definitely don't see the same. That's why people think they know you. Your friends you haven't seen in two or three years, they come around you, they be like, yeah, well, I know how he is. No, you don't. You're still living in the way they used to be. Life changes. Things happen. The way we see things, I remember a long time ago, I had had a friend say that one time with somebody, yeah, you know, because you know how Ron, he going to show up. He going to show up when, when he shows up. Now, he going to come. He's a man of his word. If he tell you, he coming. But if he say he's going to be there in 10 minutes, he might be there in 30. That's, that's the old me. You see, quit holding me to those standards. If I tell you I'm going to be there, I'm going to be there. Well, and they, they don't say that in terms of stuff that's important. Because if it's important, I'm going to be there. That, that, that was never an issue for me. Integrity and character from that particular. It's just if we just going to hang out and I say I'm going to be there in 10 minutes. If I come across a friend that I see and I might get in a conversation with them and it may end up 20, 30 minutes. But I think I shared with that. Well, I know I shared it before that my wife chewed me out one time because of that. And... Um, and she's like, I was here the whole time worried about you. And um, and I and I understood that was very dishonoring and disrespectful. So if I get caught in those situations and see, again, this is where I'm saying they think of the old person. If I'm not going to be there in 10 minutes now, I'll call you and I'll let you know I'm running behind because, you know, I got to stop somewhere. I gotta do, But I'm going to keep you up to date. I'm not going to just take 10 minutes and show up in a half an hour. And you just sitting there like, is he coming? What are you going to? I mean, again, they, they, they'll tell you even then they knew I was coming. It's just when now, if I ain't, if I'm not gonna make it there, trust me, you know, I'm gonna call you before the 10 minutes is up. You know, if I said I'm gonna be there in 10 minutes, I'm gonna call you uh, at minute seven or eight or whatever, or it, definitely the moment I notice I'm not going to be there in 10 minutes, I'm gonna call you. Hey, I'm running, I'm running later than I thought. Folks, that's integrity and character. Be what you, you don't say be what you tell people. How am, I, <laughs> how am I trying to word it? Be a person of your word. Have integrity. Have character. If you tell people you're going to do something, do it. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, number 19. Day 19. I'm saying number 19, but it's day 19. Forgive yourself. And that's kind of, it's, it's still along the same things. You got to be willing to 
it's really what we're talking about here. Give you day 16 and day 19 is pretty much the same thing. Forgive yourself. And you guys can see, that's why I said I'm going to fine tune this and, and, and put it in book form because I just know that um, there's some other things that I know that you can actually work on that I know will make this thing even more incredible. Because the concept in which she came up with, which is the 21 days for self-love, I think is awesome. And so we're actually going through this and I'm using her book kind of as the outline. But I can see where I can add some things in, which I added in the first, you know, the first things when I told you about what, you know, how I felt you should set up on day one. And again, because you can see here, we're down here, day 18, we should be journaling, day 19, forgive yourself. Those are things that I, I teach. You need to do those instantly. And so, again, but I'm sharing here, kind of following this, this platform until I get the book out. And you guys keep an eye open for that. But day 19, work on the forgiving yourself. Um, again, hopefully you've been doing that all along. That's why you've been doing the, the work in the mirror. Uh, remember, what was number two? I forgive you for that statement. I forgive you for it. So you guys can see here, day 19, we're talking about forgiving yourself. You've already been doing this since day one. That was the second statement and you're putting seven different endings. So this one, even though it's day 19, make sure you've been doing it. That's what I would tell you to do. If you haven't been doing, make sure you get on it and start doing it. But hopefully we've been doing this the whole time anyway, every single day. Throughout this whole 21 days, we should already be working on this one. Um, day 20, uh, reflect again. Remember, on, on, uh, we talked about on day one, on a scale of one to 10, how do you feel about yourself? On a scale of one to 10, and you guys know I use the three questions, whereas first off, on a scale of one to 10, where do you want to be? We know you're going to say 10. Worst case, you're going to say nine. But we know most people are going to say, I want to be a 10 on how I, I, I feel about myself. Then on a scale of one to 10, where are you? Where do you believe you are? And then the third statement is, so what do you do? Or I should say third question is, what can I do over the next, you know, day, couple of days, week, month, in order to move myself closer to that 10? So again, those three questions. But today, when we're talking about on day 20, we want to do a reflection again. Where are you at on that scale? And again, if you've been doing the stuff that we're talking about, even following this process, you should be feeling a lot better about yourself. There's no question. Um, and again, if there's anything that I can do, please let me know. It's easy to track me down. Type in my name in the browser and catch me on all my social medias. Again, as I always jokingly tell people, I said, if you can't find me, it's because you're not looking. So hit me if there's something on the 21 days you wish I'd add in or something that you have more questions on. Um, please get in touch with me because I'd love to, uh, to answer anything that I can in order to help you along this journey. And then day 21 is uh, basically stand aware. Stay aware. aware. <laughs> stay awake, yeah. But stay aware. And that's that voice as we've talked about before, which is not an enemy as the world keeps telling you. Again, the voice is there to protect you. And it's always going to take the route the safe route. It's never going to take you in a, in a direction where it thinks there could be pain attached to it. So things that have happened in the past that became painful, it locked that into the memory. And it's like, uh, -uh we ain't never going out. Like if you were in a relationship, the relationship didn't work. You go to get in another one voice. Uh, -uh we're we not going that route. Relationships equal pain. So you got to recognize it's not that the voice is trying to sabotage you or that it's trying to harm you or it's an enemy. It's actually trying to protect you. You just have to recognize if what it's telling you is actually going to keep me st stuck where I am or is the information good information? Because sometimes it's good information. It's keeping you again from harm. But you got to be able to weigh that and make the right decision. So anyway, uh, hopefully you guys again have gone through the entire uh, three segments. If not, go back to the first two and follow through. Get the, do the whole 21 days. Again, um, I, I love the whole concept of what she came up with, the 21 days of self-love. I just know there's some things that I would do differently, which you guys, have, if you've watched the whole episode, you've seen where I plugged in different things. 
And uh, and that's not to take away from her book. Again, that's why I told you who it is. You know, her name is, uh, what is it? Ingrid, I-N-G-R-I-D, Lindbergh, L-I-N-D-B-E-R-G, the 21 Day Self-Love Challenge. I'm not taking away from her book at all. I think it's a great idea, great concept. There's just a lot of different things that I personally have been through, have learned, that I think we can even um, fine tune this 21 days and make it an even more incredible journey. And so look forward to the book because I'm telling you, it'll be out in the next few months because I'm going to jump on this ASAP because, again, that's why I do Self Love Monday and then Relationship Thursday because I personally believe that is the single most, single biggest challenge that most people have is self love, low self esteem, however we want to word it. That's the number one thing that's destroying our society because the world it keeps teaching us that. It makes us believe to love ourselves is to be arrogant, self-centered, all the other negatives that are attached to it. And it's bad information and it's harming people. And so I know if we could get everybody to actually love the person in the mirror, more and more people would go out and accomplish their dreams and goals. And ultimately, we as a society actually will benefit from people doing that. So anyway, as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong, it is my opinion. Uh, run over to my site. I did the on Ron Simplified Myers dot online. Again, Ron Simplified Myers dot online, M-Y-E-R-S, because again, people spell it M-E-Y. And I just released three video series, brand new. One is uh, the Relationship Success Handbook. I did redid my book on video. But what I did is I didn't read the book. I took each section from the uh, book and I actually talked on it and then expand on, on, on the topics. The second one I did is finding love. And that's for those of you who want to understand what is love and then how to find it. And then the third uh, video series is committed relationship for those that either want to get in a committed relationship or want to strengthen the current relationship that they're in. And right now I have all three. Um, I have it at the site where there's a link you'll be able to go to and, and pretty much get all three video series for the same price that you just about would get to get one of them. And that's a special release price uh, that I'm offering right now. And uh, so go over, take advantage of it. Again, I'm not sure um, how long. And I know we hear that all the time. People go, well, I'm not sure how long. And, and, and you know, you think that that's a gimmick. And I just haven't sat back and decided when I should stop it. Right now, I just want to get it as many hands as possible. So it's out there. And, and I really don't know when I'm going to gonna stop it. It could be tomorrow. It could be a week. It could be a month. It could be a year. I don't know. Uh, it may stay like that. I have no idea. I mean, I doubt it, but I'm just letting you guys know. Again, my character and integrity means everything to me. So if I'm telling you I don't know, it's because I haven't decided. I'm, I'm not one of those to sit here and, and play these games and go, because you know you better get it tomorrow because I might switch on you tomorrow. I don't play those games. Okay. So, but anyway, as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. For those of you that we talk on um, Self Love Monday, I look forward to talking to you again next Monday. And then uh, for those of us on uh, Relationship Thursday, I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. Take care and enjoy the journey. And hopefully the 21 Day Challenge uh, added some, excited to you, some excitement to your journey. And that the person that you did on day one, as far as that scale of one to ten, that that number has increased. And if it hasn't, please let me know because it should have. And if not, I want to make sure and I will take responsibility because I, I take full responsibility for anything that I do to say, where could we have fine tuned this to make sure that you can see that adjustment? All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care and enjoy the journey. Bye bye.